So you're considering getting a new road bike, perhaps your first ever road bike. That's great. To help you with your decision, Bike Radar has tested eight of the very best road bikes for about $1,000 or less. There's three important things you need to consider when you're looking at a new bicycle. There's fit, there's feel, and there's finish. Fit, your local bike shop should be able to help you get on the right size bike, and they can help you with things like your handlebar height, your stem length, how high your saddle is. For feel, there's a few things involved, and it's all up to your personal preference. Some people like a stiffer bike that's snappier. Others prefer a bike that's not quite as skittish. And then there's finish. Do you like a white bike? Do you like a blue bike? So to test these bikes, we had multiple riders take each of the bikes on two courses. One is up Flagstaff Mountain here, which in the course of just over six miles climbs up to about 2,500 feet. That's great for testing the handling. Uh, as we descend at high speed through a lot of corners, it's good for testing how the wheels feel climbing. Also testing how the, uh, the tires feel. There's a lot of similarities in these bikes, but there's also a lot of differences. For all these things, we'll explain the differences and then let you sort out your own decision. Riders in this price range have a very diverse set of needs. At the one end of the spectrum, you have the, the privateer racer who is looking for a full-on race bike, but is on a pretty tight budget. And for those guys, we have the Felt F85. One of the defining features of this bike is the lower head tube. At the other end of the spectrum, we have the KHS. This bike has a much, much longer head tube for a given size, so the ride height is a lot taller, a lot more relaxed. Riders looking to race might not find too much appeal in this guy, but if you're starting to head out for uh, just getting into road riding and looking to look for the easiest way up that big climb, this is probably your way to go. Hey there, I'm Matt Pasoka, Bike Radar's US editor, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, the shifters among our eight test bikes we have. Two of the test bikes have micro shifts, uh, 10 speed shifters. Micro shifts is a smaller Taiwanese brand, and they, they operate uh, with two levers. The rest of our bikes have Shimano Sora shifter on them. It's a, it's a nine speed system, uh, and instead of having two levers on the outer side, uh, you simply push the brake lever over, which pulls the cable and shifts you to an easier gear. While the micro shift shifters work fairly well from both the tops and the bottoms, I found that I have a lot of trouble down shifting to harder gears. So that's, that's an interesting issue uh, with the Shimano Sora shifter. One of the things every rider should consider at this price range is the gearing of the bike that they're getting. These bikes came with a pretty big range of gearing. At the lowest end of the spectrum is the KHS with a 34 on the rear. At the other end is the Felt with a 25. And you can see by our relative cadences, I'm pedaling quite a bit faster and easier. And ben is pushing quite a bit harder. So uh, after two weeks of testing, one bike came away as uh, a clear winner, and that's the Specialized LA Sport here. Uh, Specialized did probably the best job out of all the bikes, putting an entire package together from the frame and fork uh, the, the gearing to uh, the shifting and, and nice, straight, reasonably light wheels. So there it is, uh, Bike Radar's $1,000 bike test, the road edition, uh, first one ever.